since I officially completed a full playthrough of Grounded, I've been searching for what to do next. Right as I finished creating the first few videos for my channel, a major update came to Grounded that added something called Playgrounds. Playgrounds are essentially custom player-created adventures built into Grounded using all of the game's assets. This is a big deal when it comes to expanding what Grounded has to offer as a game. I've taken some time to check out some playgrounds that players have made, and while most are pretty basic as is expected of a new system this early on, I found that some are a cut above. In this video, I'll be taking you along my adventure of a dungeon crawler that I found while browsing around Reddit for different playgrounds to try. I'll include the code for this playground in the description down below, and you'll always see it on the bottom middle of the screen throughout my playthrough. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank you all and answer a question asked by several people in the comment sections of my other videos. First, thank you all for 1,000 subscribers. I launched this channel on my birthday as a project I've been planning for a long time. As someone that still has a lot to learn about YouTube and making videos, your fast support means a lot, so thank you. To answer the question as to if I'll be playing other games, yes. My plans for this channel are to share my adventures in survival and extraction games of all sorts. Some examples of games that come to mind right now, outside of Grounded of course, are Valheim, Rust, and Project Zomboid. I'm also planning on checking out the day before relatively soon. These aren't the only games, of course, just what comes to mind while I'm talking to you now. With all that said, the playground awaits. Let's begin. You can see here that I've tried out several playgrounds already, but in this video I'm playing through Creature Castle 0.6. While this playground wasn't complete at the time, I was trying out a bunch of playgrounds I found in several different Reddit threads. This one I found in a comment by you slash Rick. Shout out to you Rick, thanks for sharing your playground code. I loaded in and found myself in a dungeon with only one hint as to how to progress. Check every corner to get started. Exploration is key. Oh boy. Well, already this is something. Utilize storage as you find items and fill your inventory. Well, I've got nothing so far. Find keys to unlock the doors. Well, it's said to check all the corners, so let's do that. I don't see anything here. What is that? There's just a hammer sitting back here. All right. Okay, I see pollen right there. Can I grab it? I can. Oh, it's Shinobi Sneeze. There's something there as well. Looks like food of some kind. Human food and empanadas. Alright, that's an opening, and I think I saw a pebble in there I have to break. Let me just check all these doors. One's green, one's blue. I think this one said it requires two keys. Yeah, blue key. Find two keys to unlock the fight arena. Alright. Well, let's see what's back here then. Keep an eye out for healing items. You'll find tools along the way to help you progress. Pick these up just in case I end up needing them. You can trash resources like pebbles. You won't need them. There is no crafting. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to need them. <laughs> Use a lean-to as a checkpoint system. Make regular saves for backup. Interesting. Oh, this is a clever way to use the, uh, the sleeping mechanic. Equip weapons and armor that you find. Watch your hunger and find food. That's locked. Oh, we've got mites. I see ants back there. Okay, there are a lot of things happening here. Oh, I am not a fan of soldier ants, dude. Oh, <laughs> I completely missed it.
Right, that's one out of the way. That was a majestic noise. Looks like I completed the local objective. Let me get that spear back. Oh, some mushrooms. That's good. Rip. Oh, I can just take the pet memorial. Oh. Well, it's a little red helmet, so it doesn't really do anything for me, but uh, hey, cool. I did find these mushrooms. Let's just eat those up real quick. Fight creatures to unlock rewards. Well, I did that. Ooh. Upon clearing the first bit of combat against red ants, I found a small chest with a reward. I earned myself some early upgrades that would soon become useful. Requires termite axe, come back later. Oh boy. Ah, yes. It was soon after digging my way through the blocked path that I found the next room of enemies, and it was here I would make a bit of a blunder. Spiders. Why, why did it just... I don't know why it went into my inventory and not into the hot slot. Oh god. Oh god. I am not ready for this. Hey, man, you just wait right there for a minute, okay? Oh, I never picked it up. That's why. It's all the way back there. Let's go with the mosquito needle. Nice. You guys just gotta, you just, you just gotta show up now, huh? Oh god, another one of these. Come on, men. Not a good look for me. Let's use this as a funnel. <laughs> just the endless poking. actually got me. Well, that got a little overwhelming. I panicked because I thought I picked this up and it did not. I was curious as to why it was not back in my inventory, but we're good now. Beefy boost juice. Exploring is key, they said, so I'm just looking at every little corner, every little thing. I do wonder if they would hide something in these web sacks. The biggest reason I ask is because in the main game, I did find the widow, the whittle widowling inside a web sack next to a black widow. I must see. And this is where I take things a little too literally. You see, I love exploring in games. If there's even a tiny chance of being rewarded for taking a moment to look around or bash things open, I'm gonna do it. So, 
I proceeded to bash open every single web sack in this room. After bashing away for a couple of minutes, I unfortunately didn't find anything useful. I was still rewarded for completing the room, however, so I took that as a win. Okay, this is where the new bone knife will come into play. Alright, on to the next checkpoint. Larva. Larva aren't bad, as long as we can get them one at a time. Looks like a lot of them are kind of stuck. There you go, buddy. Come here. Oh, now you're out. Can I hop out? Guess not. Well, this is definitely the easiest room. Okay, I see nothing else in this room. Let's go. Ah, the green key. As one of them. Get a whole bunch of bandages, too. Nice. And what's in this? Ooh. The Stinger Spear. Black Ant Shield is definitely an upgrade. The damage of the Spiky Sprig is better, but the Stinger Spear is much faster and has critical hit chance, so we'll throw that on. There's a switch. Okay, they went full circle. Okay, this is kind of neat. This is kind of neat. After obtaining the green key and clearing my inventory of stuff I wouldn't be using, I equipped my newfound spear and a torch. When I unlocked a door with the green key, I found myself with two paths, one requiring another upgraded tool. Requires insect hammer, come back later. Okay, we gotta find ourselves an insect hammer now. With only one way to progress, I made my way down the path to the next room filled with more insects. Well, what do we have here? A whole bunch of ants. Man, this spear's good. Love it. Come on, I don't want to get all of you at once. Uh-oh. Gorgeous. Overall pretty clean, only took one hit. Let me throw on some mutations while we're here. Parry Master will be good. Apparently it's the only one I have. Alright, good stuff. You'll find the same weapons and armor at different levels. Trash or stow store low-level equipment. Okay, well we'll take some of these. Um don't need the other stuff. Requires insect hammer. Where's my insect hammer? With the red ant soldiers dealt with and not finding a whole lot of loot, I found myself in front of another blocked pathway. I wasn't at a dead end though. I found something else I could break through to continue on. Here, I would find some of the more annoying enemies, especially when found in groups. Oh, mosquitoes, my favorite. Come here. Wasn't expecting a triple attack there. Okay, not bad. I took a lot of hits there, but I mean, you know, they're coming from all angles, so I guess it's all right. A mug. All right, we need the knife for this.
here we go. When I found the Red Ant Club and a bow, I had a feeling I'd need them. So far, the dungeon has offered things that would be useful in the next room, so it made sense to equip them before moving on. It was before I could even open the door that they would come in handy. Find and shoot target, check up high. Is it back here somewhere? It says don't forget to look up, yeah. There it is. Bing bong. Ladybugs. Well, it's a good thing they gave me this club here. Boom. I can't not press the red button, right? Like, it's illegal to not press it. Oh, well. A lot of good that did me. Let's try again. Well, the ladybugs are still friendly for the time being. Let's make sure the rest of the room is clear. We got some free bandages. All right, let's take them on. Luckily, it's just one at a time. You're a little stuck there, friend. Let me help you out. This is the one thing about Grounded. It seems like a lot of the larger insects get stuck on things very easily. Well, it's, I guess it's a good time for a knockdown. Since I was out of stamina. Beautiful. What's in the box? Ooh, spider fang dagger and black ant sword. The ladybug room clear proved to be easy since I was able to take them on one at a time, and the reward for clearing the room gave me one of my favorite weapons, the spider fang dagger. Alongside the ladybug armor, I was feeling increasingly powerful. I equipped all the new goods and continued on through the dungeon. Oh no. I will not be dying this day. I'm not very good at taking on bombardier beetles in melee range. Since most of my playthrough of Grounded, I just used a bow or crossbow to take them out safely. Fortunately, I was able to defeat them here by positioning myself to take out one before the other one knew I was there. The loot for this room wasn't anything great, so I left it all and moved forward. Come here, you. We gotta find water button? Okay. My first time encountering water in this dungeon crawler had me nervous. Not because of the water itself, but because it offered very little in difficulty. I feared the next rooms could prove to be a lot more difficult based on the ease of this one. New respawn. Black ants. Okay, things are getting a little bit more difficult here, plus mosquitoes. I was right. Ants in general I find somewhat difficult to parry properly, but having mosquitoes flying around as well put me on edge. Luckily, however, only one of them attacked me, which made things much more manageable. In this moment, I should have switched to the red ant club as it does a lot of stun damage, which would allow me a moment to fire an arrow into the eyes of the ants for an easy weak spot hit. I instead stuck with the dagger, which made this room needlessly more difficult. No! Oh nice, the poison got him. Nice. Go for a critical hit on this guy. It didn't work. It didn't work. 
like how that mosquito's just kind of waiting his turn. What a nice guy. Oh my god, you're so tanky. Just die. critical got it the club for this guy oh you're stuck the reason why I want the club is it'll do a little more damage but also if I stun them I can just you know get a quick eye shot like so exploiting their weakness in a very big way Finally clearing the large number of enemies here, I was rewarded with some nice upgrades. Some feather arrows, and then some bubble helmets, and more green machine. Okay, well, let's let's abandon the regular green machine. Let's only take the beefies. Beefy only. Them's the rules. Beefy only green machines from now on. Your regular green machine, we don't need you. Go away. You know what? Just to complete the set, we'll go black and sword too. Just for the sake of completing the set. Trying to shoot target, think outside the box. I had a feeling it would be over here. I'm gonna use a regular arrow for this. We're going back underwater. I better grab my knife then. Gotta find the button to unlock, and I have 24 seconds to do so. Oh boy. Well, at least we have the diving bell spiders. Out of stamina. Oh my zaps. <laughs> Yikes. Where's the button? Oh, you, you know what, dude? I should have put this on to begin with. What is wrong with me? After picking up some upgrades and equipping the bubble helmet that I should have before even jumping into the water, I headed to surface to replenish my oxygen and then jumped back in to search for the button. I actually had it on screen for a quick second, but the zap from the battery distracted me from seeing it. I would search around the entire area before eventually checking behind the battery again. Bubble helmet OP. Oh, did I just see it there? I did. All right, game. All right. Definitely equip your gas mask. <laughs> okay. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, we have stink bugs out here. Uh, dude, why'd you have to run? Let's take these guys out one at a time. Luckily, the worst part about stink bugs is just their, their stink. Alright, it's one down. Play basketball to open up this door. Shoot a hoop to enter. But do you really want to? Oh, spiders. Not a big deal. Basketball, okay. 
Okay, I've never done this before. I don't know how this is gonna work. My lack of skill when it comes to basketball was already apparent in real life, but for it to translate so well to grounded was almost insulting. <laughs> All right, off the rim. Man, that bounces hard. There's got to be a technique to this. There's got to be. So close. This is easily the toughest part of this dungeon crawler so far. Nice. Finally. It took me a good bit to actually make a shot in the hoop. When I finally did it, I was able to continue into the room with the spiders. Yeah, you're a little stuck, man. That's alright, I'll still come to, come to you. That was not the greatest fight from me. Ooh, rusty spear. While the wolf spider kind of messed me up, I had survived and was rewarded with a powerful new weapon. After equipping my new spear, I entered the next room where I had found something I've been looking for for a while. Where was that? There it is. A key! I had acquired a blue key, the second one so far in this dungeon. I wasn't far off from the door, so I ran over to see what was behind it. It seems I found a bit of a jumping puzzle, and luckily I came prepared with lots of experience to bypass this. Nice. I need to chop this. I need a level 2 axe to chop this. I do not have an axe at all. My lack of chopping tools suddenly became apparent. Considering I hadn't found one yet, it must be in the area, so I looked around to see what I could find. Will you have the axe I'm looking for? You will. Also, what's this? Shiny salt crystal. Add salty attack. I feel like I should take that. But I also feel like I should store some gear. Nice. Alright, let's chop. And I'm in. What's going on in here? Nachos, fiber bandages, some water. Looks like a teleporter of some kind. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. I'm going to throw on the shields. I guess we're just going to do it. I took a leap of faith into the teleporter and quickly found myself inside what appeared to be a lab. I instantly knew what to expect, and it wasn't long before I found it. I do believe these guys are weak to busting, yeah. But this weapon definitely does fine. Science. Hey, buds. Oh. We have archers here. <laughs> nice. 
nice. Find the button for that. Clearing out the Arkers opened up a nearby chest for me, and I quickly looted it and moved forward into a very dark tunnel that was absolutely filled with enemies. Oh, mites. And a larva. See, these mites are really easy to dodge. All you have to do is just stand in front of them and lightly strafe. There you go. The chest in this room gave me a firefly headlamp, which could only mean that I was meant to look around in this dark area. Thanks to this new helmet, it wasn't long before I found this. There it is. I'm gonna keep this headlamp on, man. Hey, dudes. I love that they're rotating around one another. I got greedy, but I went for it. It's fine. Oh, there's so many of you! The robots in large numbers can be a tough enemy to take down in an open area, but funneling them into a smaller area like a doorway helps make quick work of them. After disposing of them all, I was able to make my way out of the lab area to the next section where I found what I find to be the creepiest looking bugs in the entire game. Gonna try to run through them here. Gorgeous. Ow. All right, we got one to go away. That's great news. Still some of the scariest looking bugs in the entire game. Oh. Nice jump scare. In most rooms where there's combat, there is a chest of some kind. I guess not. I don't see one. Unless it's up there. Aha. Yeah, we'll take that. Nice little replacement there. Also, the antlion set. Not bad. Not a bad find. Upon entering the next room, I instantly saw bees. I have a bit of history with bees. A lot of them were pretty great neighbors to me in the base game, but I had a feeling that these guys weren't about to be friendly. Right, you're not aggressive to start, so we're going to deal with the spiders first then. Oh, don't do that. No one likes when you do that. Oh, annoying. There you go. Go and drink the full juice here.
I kind of feel bad about killing the bumblebees. After all this time, they proved to be pretty nice to me. For the most part. Speed droplets. That grants us the quickness. I like that. After clearing out all the spiders and bees, I was blocked from opening the door until I shot a target with my bow. The room isn't very big, so it only took a second to find it. There it is. Taking that arrow back too. The door unlocked after landing my shot, and I was able to go through where I found several mints I had to bash my way through. When the last mint was broken, I found an area with an advanced form of insect, Tiger Mosquitoes. Alright, the dagger is not great against them. It's not much of an improvement. Better heal. Okay, man, that got a little intense for a minute there. Tiger, Mosquito, Rapier. We'll take that. Checkpoint. I just threw my spear at it. All right. Claiming my new weapon, I went through a now unlocked door where I found this. Unfortunately, I didn't have a weapon that does busting damage, so I went to work with my rusty spear. This fight would end up giving me what many consider to be the single strongest weapon in all of Grounded, and it was now mine to wield. Alright, pretty easy. Ooh, the mint mace is here. Ooh, I equipped my new weapon and went through the now open teleporter. It is time for some mint mace action. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a short walk down a hallway led me to a large open room that looked all too familiar with just a few changes. I knew what was about to happen. Are they about to throw a boss at me? I think they're about to throw a boss at me. Use the telepody. Knew it. I knew it. Luckily, they gave me a mint mace for this, though. This thing does the big bonks. Um, well, whatever you just did, buddy, it didn't activate anything, so... Ah, there it goes. There it goes. Jeez. Oh, nice knockdown. Perfect moment for it. Come on, stamina. Beautiful. The assistant manager proved to be difficult with all of his extra traps surrounding the arena, but I found a flow and was able to move in and out to deal my damage and take him down. 
The teleporter on the other end of the room was now open, and with nothing else to do, I hopped in. A pinch whacker and a black ant sword. Looks like a fresh black ant sword at that. And there's the termite axe, too. Oh, that's so nice. With an upgraded axe, I could finally break into the area I saw earlier that was blocked off by a bunch of wooden splinters. Okay, so we got all the stuff, but now there's the termite den. After taking a moment to put some gear in storage, I took my mint mace and termite axe to break my way into the termite den. Ah, there it is. There it is. Termites, what are you guys weak to? Give ourselves a little bit of salty attack with that. Oh, baby. guys are the worst. After taking a while to clear out the termites, I was presented with a choice in directions. Being the explorer that I am, I decided to check out the path that was hidden away and blocked off. I was completely surprised when I found this. Termite King. Lovely. Secret Termite King Lair. Given that I wasn't really able to enter the room and I had the means to do it, I took the Termite King out by firing arrows at it for a while. I was safe in this position, and all I had to do was pop in to grab some arrows every so often, so taking this enemy out was cake. Alright, easy peasy. Get all my arrows back. What was in this room? Anything cool? The reward for doing this was huge, an incredible power surge in the form of magic. Oh, staves, dude. Okay. Termite armor as well. All right. Let's just throw them all on. Put this on. Where's our termite king armor? Very good. Okay. So maybe this was the intended path after all, because that's where the red key was. However, what was down the other way? I took all the new goods with me and made my way down the other path from earlier before the Termite King. It was seemingly a dead end with only a few bandages to pick up. With nothing else to do here, I made my way back to the main area to use the red key. I mean, some healing goods. That's nice. But outside of that, just nothing. Let me grab my other arrows real quick. Alright. Let's see where this takes us. You've reached the end for now. Thanks for playing. Feedback is appreciated. Man, this was actually really well, well done. Out of all these things that I've downloaded so far... This has been, honestly, the best one, so this is cool. Keep an eye out for the next update coming soon. I'm looking forward to it. Congratulations. Oh, baby. The big goods. And so, that was the end of the dungeon crawler. At least for now. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to use my new stabs, but I'll be back to check out the updates in the future to do so. At the time I played this, it was at version 0.6, and even now as I upload this video, it's had an update. There's also the fight arena, which you can get access to after getting the first two keys. This arena allows you to fight any enemy in the game, and even has a way to summon things in multiples, including bosses. 
This is a great way to practice and see how much you can handle. You <laughs> make it so it summons three at once. Insane. And thus ends my adventure through a dungeon crawler in Grounded. Overall, it was a really good time and I'm definitely looking forward to trying out more of these. If you enjoyed the adventure, be sure to subscribe for more adventures and more games in the near future. With that said, I'm out of here for now. Until next time, Skullyton out.